So I went to Walmart in the middle of the city during a pandemic. It was spooky. Kind of apocalyptic, like the Hunger Games. Isn't that spooky? Look, if there's one thing I've learned over this time, it's that during quarantine, we are all going to consume copious amounts of quarantine food. Shit. I've been doing a lot of cooking. So, me and my friends, Allie and Hannah, had to go grocery shopping because we were all nearly out of food. None of us anticipated how much we'd need to last the quarantine. And yes, before you say anything, we know, social distancing, social distancing, look, I know, but Allie, Hannah, and I had spent spring break together the week before quarantine started, so if we were already sick, we would have given it to each other already. Also, we live right next to each other in the city, so it just made sense to do this together. Um, You can find me about in the comments, but I probably won't reply, or I'll send you a meme. And like an emoji or something. Different than I was at taking it. Here, do you want these, Hannah? They also can form around. It. Yeah. So my my eyes are bags. too low. Should I grab more bags. We were also being very careful yeah. to take precautions. A pandemic is not the time to be messing around, and um, we were aware of how dangerous the we should just grab Backstreet Boys can be. <laughs> Look, this can be a very scary time, and it's important that we all do what we can to limit the spread of infection, but holy shit, going to Walmart was like something out of a post-apocalyptic movie. So, Walmart's doing this thing where only some a number of people are allowed into the store at any given number, any given amount of time. So, we are currently waiting in line. Yes, very good words there, Josh. Basically, Walmart was doing this thing where they only let a select number of people in at a time and everyone else has to wait in line six feet away from each other until they let you in. Um, most people were clumped together in like their little quarantine squads. Um, we can figure it out. <laughs> Pull out the chest. Here, I have gloves on, Joshua. Let me touch it. Yeah. Honestly, once we got inside, it was a pretty chill buying experience. With always low prices. In fact, it was probably better because we didn't have the normal Walmart crowds to move through, obviously, for obvious reasons. Ooh. The meats are very empty. The meats are very empty, so I might need to get more tofu. But also maybe because we hadn't realized we came an hour before closing. So we were just chilling by the eggs, about to look for candles when the loudspeaker came on. Hello. Please, like, get the actual heck out of my store. I mean, like, now. Like, get out now. Yay! Store's closing, gotta go. <laughs> I didn't realize it closed so early. Let's go. So up to this point, there wasn't really any indicators of what we were supposed to be doing. We had mostly just been watching other people and following what they were doing. There were employees around who we could have asked questions to, but, you know, social distancing, didn't want to get too close to anybody. So everyone was going through these makeshift footwear hallways. On the other side was the checkout aisles, and there was one that looked open. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just head over to that one. And then some lady jumped out of nowhere. She was like a ninja. She just appeared. Stop. You have to wait here like a dingus before I tell you you can go. Oh. Okay. You can go. Stupid people telling me can't can't walk around phrases while we're making... Trying to keep people healthy and safe and stuff. Trying to stupid check up people with their dumb lines and glass windows, their hand sanitizer, and really nice shirts. Hope you're having a great day. Honestly, I kind of felt bad. I gave this guy a lot to ring up at what was clearly the end of their shift, but I needed food and didn't feel that bad. Actually, it was a pretty chill experience until this random guy showed up. He was clearly friends with the cashier, but he got so close to me. Distance socially. 
We were all checked out and ready to leave Walmart behind us. When we got outside is when we realized how late it was. The parking lot was deserted and truthfully filled with trash. This was my first time at that Walmart, so I don't know if this was a normal thing out of quarantine or not, but when we went again, it seemed cleaner the second time. There also was a pair of ducks chilling in the trash. They were my couple goals. up we were all ready to go home it had been a long day and the loudspeaker went on one more time so the whole apocalypse feel was really setting in again i rode the shopping cart back to its brothers like any decent adult should And we all left to live happily ever after. Except we're still in quarantine. And now I'm back home. And out of the city. And still going crazy inside. But if there's anything I've learned while doing all this, is that cooking is great, and so is eating. And I plan on doing more of both. Also, keep your distance and look around for Walmart employees. They are always watching and will probably tell you what you need to know. Not sponsored. Hi. Um, thanks for watching. This was my first uh, in my Quarantine Me series of videos, just charting events that have happened over the time that will hopefully be over soon, but probably not. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you liked, please leave a like and subscribe for more, because there, like I said, there's going to be more in this series. Um, I never know what to say in these outro bits, but I love you. <laughs> ah, the Corona. <laughs>